Hey mamas, it's Connie from Milkful with your Milkful tidbit of the week. Today we're going to talk about one of the most common concerns I hear. Is my baby getting enough milk? So hopefully this video will give you some tools to know if your baby's getting enough milk and then what to do if you are concerned about it. So the biggest thing is monitoring weight gain. If you have your baby in the hospital, they'll check your baby's weight periodically during your stay. And then once you get home, your pediatrician will continue to monitor your baby's weight gain. The key thing is that they just wanna see your baby stay on their weight percentile curve. It doesn't matter if your baby is in the fifth percentile or the 95th percentile, as long as they're more or less maintaining that curve. Um, what's concerning is if your baby drops off that curve, then that's a sign that your baby's not getting enough. It's normal for babies to lose weight in the first few days as your milk is coming in. Up to 7% is considered normal, 7% of their birth weight. And then after your milk comes in, babies typically gain two thirds of an ounce to an ounce a day, which ends up being like a pound and a half to two pounds a month, which is, is pretty remarkable. So if there are concerns about your baby's weight gain, um, some people choose to rent a scale to have at home so they can monitor their baby's weight a little bit more closely, um, or they go to their local breastfeeding support group regularly where they often have scales, or they're seeing a lactation consultant where they will weigh your baby with every visit. Um, but in general, like if breastfeeding is going well, you don't need to be weighing your baby every day. Just at your pediatrician checkups is plenty. The next thing is counting your baby's diapers. So in the first few days, the general rule is one wet diaper and one poopy diaper for every day of life. And then once your milk comes in around day four, at least five to six wet diapers and four or more poopy diapers. And I will say that breastfed babies in the first um, probably month and a half or so tend to poop every time you feed them. So that's eight to 12 poops a day. It's a lot of poop. We're going to have a whole tidbit on poop because it is um, one of the most fun parts of early parenting. So we'll talk more about that. But it's really important to count your baby's diapers. And if you're not getting those wet and poopy diapers, then reach out for help. Early intervention is really key in those moments. And then lastly, uh, just some signs that you can look for that a feeding is going well. So things that might be happening with your baby, um, hearing your baby suck and swallow, seeing your baby's jaw and ear move as they're nursing. Um, hungry babies tend to be very tense. So at the beginning of a feeding, your baby's hands might be closed in a fist and their arms will be sort of firm. And then as a feeding is going on, their hands will relax and open and their arms will get sort of looser. So you can can kind of like use it as like a gas gauge like okay my baby's still kind of like pulling against me with their arm they're still hungry but at the end of the feeding if your baby is like milk drunk with like milk dribbling out of their mouth and their arms are all relaxed and their hands are open that baby is a well-fed happy baby some things that mom might be noticing in her body um, during a feeding there's often this like sort of wave of hormone release of oxytocin. And that brings um, some fun things like uterine cramping, sometimes some extra bleeding, especially in those first few weeks, um, re feeling really drowsy or really thirsty are all signs of that hormone release. Um, you might also start to feel the sensations of letdown, which not everybody does, but a lot of people report sort of pins and needles or tingling or bubbling, maybe even a little bit of stinging with that letdown. But then in general, mom should be feeling like some pulling and tugging, but not like pinching or pain. Um, is the general rule with what she's feeling. And then at the end of a feeding, especially after your milk has really come in, you'll notice that your breasts feel softer than at the beginning of a feeding. And that's because that milk has been transferred from you into your baby. Um, it's hard because we have no like measurement or gauge to know, okay, this much milk has come out of me and into my baby. We just kind of have to watch for these signs, watch your baby. Um, one thing that can be really helpful is noticing if your baby's having several periods of calm awake time during the day, that is a great sign that you have a happy, well-fed baby. And those quiet awake times are so precious because that is really when your baby is open to interaction and learning. It can be so tempting to be like, oh, the baby is calm. I'll put them down and empty the dishwasher. But Take time to just be really present with your baby, bring your baby close to you. They can only see so far. Um, so really 
have your baby close to you, interact with your baby until they start to turn away or close their eyes and they're done and ready to probably take a nap or have another feeding. I really enjoy those precious quiet awake times when you get them. So I want to hear your stories. What eased your anxieties as you were starting to breastfeed about whether you were getting um, your baby enough milk? Or how did you know that you needed to reach out for support? Join us in our Nourishing Baby group over in the Ellie app, and we want to hear your stories and hear your questions. Um, and we'd love to get the conversation going. So I'll leave you with our mantra. Your worth as a mother is not measured in ounces. You are enough. Until next time.